Hello everyone. I'll summarize the anatomy of mitochondria and the transport of molecules such as NADH from cytosol into the mitochondria. Here is an example of mitochondria. Outer membrane is around the entire mitochondria. It is freely permeable to small molecules and ions. More specifically, it is permeable to molecules less than 10 kD. The charged ions diffuse through channels or pores. The inner membrane contains a lot of proteins. For things like electron transport chain, oxidative phosphorylation, and various transport proteins, it is not permeable at all, with a few exceptions. Small and uncharged compounds, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water can diffuse through. It has transport proteins for ATP, ADP, pyruvate, and protons. The cristae are the folding inside the mi mitochondria. It increases the surface area. The number of cristae in a given mitochondria varies based on the oxidative capacity of the tissue. The matrix is what is inside the mitochondria. It contains things like pyruvate dehydrogenase, enzymes for TCA cycle, beta oxidation, and amino acid oxidation. It also contains the mitochondrial DNA, ribosomes, ATP, and ADP. The mitochondria needs a transport system to move things across the inner membrane and carry out controlled reactions. We need to transport ATP generated in the mitochondria to cytosol and bring back the ADP and inorganic phosphate. Also, the NADH needs to be transported into the mitochondria to utilize the energy. The first one is ADP-ATP translocase. ATP moves out for exchange of ADP. This process is driven by the potential difference between the intermembrane space and the matrix. The intermembrane space is positively charged due to proton pumping. This drives ATP out of mitochondria since ADP has three negative charges and ATP has four negative charges. This exchange happens through a channel protein called adenine nucleoside translocase. This is an antiport transport system. The second transport system is moving the inorganic phosphate into the mitochondria. This is driven by electrochemical gradient of the proton. Since protons are pumped out of the matrix, it creates a positive charge in the intermembrane space. The gradient drives the protons to equilibrate by entering the mitochondria via symport with inorganic phosphate. This is facilitated by phosphate translocase, and it's a symport system. The third transport system is the malate aspartate shuttle. This system transports the NADH from the cytosol into the matrix. Oxaloacetate, the same intermediate in TCA cycle, is converted to malate. This is facilitated by malate dehydrogenase and converts NADH to NAD+. Malate then moves through the membrane via malate alpha-ketoglutarate transporter into the matrix and gets converted back to oxaloacetate. NADH is reproduced in this process. This is how electrons from NADH are transported into the mitochondria. Oxaloacetate needs to get converted to aspartate to go back into the cytosol. For this to happen, glutamate is converted to alpha-ketoglutarate and is facilitated by aspartate amino transferase. Aspartate then moves out through the glutamate aspartate transporter and gets converted back to oxaloacetate via aspartate amino transferase. Alpha-ketoglutarate has to get converted to glutamate for this process. The intermediates also need to be transported in and out of mitochondria. Alpha-ketoglutarate moves out through the alpha-ketoglutarate transporter and glutamate moves in through the glutamate transporter. Another way to move NADH into the mitochondria is through glycerol phosphate shuttle. The energy in NADH produced in glycolysis is passed to glycerol 3-phosphate. This is facilitated by glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase in the cytosol. G3P then passes through the mi outer mitochondrial membrane and into the intermembrane space. Here it is passed on to make FADH2 by the same enzyme, glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, but in the mitochondria. TAP moves back into the cytosol and the electrons from FADH2 are utilized in the electron transport chain. Thank you. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below.